This channel is more on entertainment and educational videos. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Today our lesson is all about Routine and non-routine problem involving division without or with any of the other operation of decimals and whole numbers including money. Problem solving is somewhat easy if you follow the steps on how to solve them. Let's have a review first. Let's do learning task number one. Round off the items and estimate the questions. Then, write less than symbol if the answer is less than or greater than symbol if the answer is greater than the actual quotient. And, now always remember that in solving a problem, we follow step-by-step -step procedure. Remember the acronym AGOSA. 1. What is asked? 2. What is given? 3. What operation to be used? 4. Show your solution. And 5. Answer. Let's solve a sample problem. While listening to music, Athena recorded that the five songs in the radio she was listening took 17.25 minutes of airtime. What was the average length of each music? Don't forget to apply the Agosa method. The average length of each music is 3.45 minutes is the answer. Learning task 2. Solve the given problem. 1. Dessa, Anne and I bought materials for their project worth 276.45 pesos. The girls divided the amount equally among themselves. How much is each share? Two. Rico wants to buy a battery-operated tour car cost 587.50 pesos. He already saved 150.00 pesos. His Ninong have him 200.00 pesos. If he saves 12.50 pesos a day from his allowance, how long will it take him to save the rest of the money to buy the toy car? Learning Task 3. Solve the following problems. Show the step-by-step -step and complete the solution. 1. Mr. Villa bought 91.25 inches of plastic labeling tape. He used 1.25 inches long to label each. How many labels can he make? 2. Roman's allowance a week is 250.75 pesos. If he will save 50.00 pesos and equally divided the rest into 5, how much will he spend a day? 3. From a spool of ribbon 25 meter long. How many pieces of ribbon can he need if each ribbon needs 3.2 meters? 4. Glenn was able to save 92.50 pesos in 5 days. Spending on 10.50 pesos of the allowance given to him a day. How much allowance was given to him per day? 5. Learning Task 4. Solve the following problems. Number 1. If a man works for 8 hours a day, he can finish a job in 12 days. How many hours per day must he work to complete it in 10 days? 2. Mariella compared 9 different brands of ice cream and found that the average price is equal to 254.00 pesos. As she was going to Anther store, she found 2 other brands that cost 282.00 pesos and 292.00 pesos respectively. What will be the resulting average of the 11 brands? 3. Mr. Makat Bagal covered 175.45 km in his trip to the province. If his car consumed 12 liters of gasoline, how many kilometers did his car cover on a liter of gasoline? 
Before we continue, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more video updates. Ratio of two given numbers. The number being compared is followed by the number to which it is compared to. We also call this an ordered pair of numbers. A ratio can be written using colon between two numbers or in fraction form. Learning task number one. Based on the figures answer the given question. One. What is the ratio of keys to seeds? Answer. Four, seven. Two. What is the ratio of clocks to seeds? Answer five, seven. Three. What is the ration of keys to clock? Answer four, five. Four. What is the ration of seeds to key? Answer seven, four. Five. What is the ratio of keys to all items? Answer 4, 12. Learning Task 2. Write each ratio in the fraction and colon form. Learning Task 3. Use the sets of pictures and answer to given questions. Activity A. What is the ratio of the number of? Activity B. Draw any pictures showing the ratios. These are just example you. May create or draw your own pictures. Learning Task 4. Answer the given questions. 1. What is the ratio of the number of vowels to the number of consonants in English alphabet? Answer. 5, 21. 2. What is the ratio of the number of men to the number of women in the roster of Philippine president? Answer. 14, 2. 3. What is the ratio of the number of days in a week to the number of weeks in one month? Answer. 7, 4. 4. What is the ration of number of seconds in a minute to second in one hour? Answer. 60, 3600. 5. What is the ratio of the number of months in a year to months in decade? Answer. 12, 120. That ends out lesson for today. Please don't forget to like and share. Also subscribe to my channel for more video updates.